What is happening, my tribe? Today I received my own C2 grips for my PS5 controller. And I'll tell you, I've never customized my controllers ever. So this is the first time doing it and I will let you know if the C2 grips gives you that value in your gaming experience for you to invest in them. I really tested the grips for long gameplay sessions before doing this review because I didn't want to recommend a product before fully using it and weighting the pros and cons. So first, what I noticed was the box was a little bit heavy. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It's a nice package and let's take these babies out. Uh, okay, well, they are a little bit heavy at first grab. The material is very firm and it's really anti-slip, but really. Let's see how it feels with the controller. It's very easy and effortless to snap on your controller. You just have to do a little twist when inserting it and you will hear a click when you do it right. Also, it won't feel loose, so you don't have to worry about dropping one of the grips mid-session. The pistol grip design feels great in my hand. It's like I'm really fully holding the controller now and have grip and control, especially on the bottom part. So while using it, it feels a little bit heavier now, but it's not a problem for me, uh, but maybe it could be an issue for someone. Uh, before, uh, with the bear controller, I sometimes lost the grip of my pinky finger while moving my hand or re-grabbing the controller, but that's not the case anymore. I don't have a big hand, but with the C2 grips, I got great support on all the fingers, and it's almost impossible to lose the grip on them unless you take your hand completely off. And I can see that this feature is super beneficial for a person with a big hand using the PS5 controller. And one feature that I really like is the self-stand of the controller that can place nicely on my desk instead of the sometimes, you know, the accidental drop of the controller. Now, if you don't know already, the game that I play the most is Elden Ring. So I did long sessions to try them out. They feel really comfortable with no signs of hand fatigue. I could rest the controller on the desk or in my lap with no issues. And if you play Elden Ring, you know the infamous claw finger or the claw hand that you do while sprinting. It feels better than ever with the amount of grip they have. I can click easily on every button, change the weapons, change the items, activate flask. Everything in the game feels great with the grips. Honestly, I did have a positive experience with them. But the only miss opportunity that I see right now is that it's not compatible with the DualSense Edge PS5 controller. I also have seen some people having issues with charging station, so they have to charge the controller with the top part. That's not my case, but nonetheless, and also the lack of color options for people like me that I like to customize stuff. And I will definitely get some yellow or orange colored grips in an instant, like right now. So to summarize, I'm very happy with the C2 grips. It really enhanced my gameplay sessions in every way. There is room for improvement, of course, since the product really works. And I can, with honesty, recommend this product if you have a PS4, a PS5, or Xbox controller. If you're interested in getting one, use the link down in the description below with the code BALROX to get your C2 grips with a $5 discount. So that's it for the video, guys. So you all take care, be safe, and see you on the next one. Ciao!